Watching old movies depicting the future, you see that 30 to 40 years ago, people imagined that in the future we would be surrounded by robot androids, indistinguishable from humans, who would be assistants in all areas of life, and perhaps even try to take over the world by becoming conscious creatures thanks to artificial intelligence. In recent decades, technology, including artificial intelligence, has really succeeded, but robots in human form for some reason still do not exist. They exist in research laboratories, appear at science fairs, and occasionally, rather to demonstrate the latest developments, perform simple jobs in the service sector. Agree, while not reminiscent of a movie about the rise of machines. So what is the reason and what are the difficulties of creating robots? Let's find out. As a bonus for those who watched the video to the end, we will get to know the most unusual robots known to man. Today, robotics has been quite successful in performing highly specialized tasks, performing physically demanding work for humans like transporting goods, or work requiring high precision at levels of monotony like assembling cars. But diverse, complex, or non-standard tasks require a robot thousands of times more complex. The most difficult is to create a robot capable of interacting with humans and, if not experiencing, then plausibly imitating emotions to create the effect of full-fledged communication. First, let's walk through the evolution of android robots to get to the bottom of this. One of the first robots capable of performing basic program functions was the Televox, manufactured by the Westinghouse Electric Company back in 1927. Thanks to telephone signals, it was able to perform a program function and, for example, check if the stove was working or if the light was on in the house. It is, of course, difficult to call this creation an android robot, despite the fact that its creator tried to give it a human look, albeit comically today. A slightly more functional robot was Electro, which was released in the United States 10 years later. It looked more like a human and could even respond to words. Not that it could recognize human speech, but it could react to a certain number of words, which at that time was already a breakthrough. Two words would activate the robot, three would stop it, and four would return it to its original position. Using a special mechanism in Electro's mouth, he could inflate balloons and even smoke, which, of course, was only for entertainment and had no functional sense. The next brilliant representative among robots appeared only in 1970 thanks to Japanese developers. The Wabot 1 robot was designed to carry goods, but it could choose its own direction and speak Japanese. But unfortunately, even today, most of the Android robots are created for entertainment, not to perform useful functions. After all, entertainment is not subject to such strict requirements. One of the most famous robots today is Sophia from Hanson Robotics. Her face, though not perfect, reflects 60 shades of human emotions. She recognizes speech and can maintain a conversation. However, the robot answers based on its own very limited experience. For all unclear or ambiguous questions, it looks for information online, which according to skeptics, turns it into a chatbot with controversial facial expressions. Again, even this famous robot can only amuse, but it is for no real use. Well, and the transparent cap on the back of her head does not add to her charm in human eyes. In Japanese news in 2014, there was another interesting robot that managed to work for several days as a consultant in a Tokyo shopping mall. Toshiba's Aiko Shihiro robot mimics human facial expressions quite realistically, moves its head, hands, and eyes, and speaks good English and Japanese. Optimistic predictions are that these robots should replace some consultants or helping in care for and communicating with seriously ill people. But for now, the big problem is that so far the robot cannot move around, which makes it difficult for it to perform its functions fully. There are many other humanoid robots, less well known, but no less interesting. Actroid Sit makes eye contact and can touch the other person during a conversation. And Harmony was the first robot for intimacy, capable of maintaining a conversation on juicy topics. Despite all the innovations in robotics, robots still cannot fully replace human communication. Moreover, scientists dream of creating robots capable of actually saving lives in fires or natural disasters, working in the most inaccessible corners of the planet with harsh climates, or performing any manual labor just like a human, or maybe even better, excluding the human factor. The problem of movement has been solved by the developers of the Atlas robot, which can not only walk, but also run. Using a LiDAR rotating in the robot's head, it scans the surrounding space and easily bypasses all obstacles and makes a volumetric picture of the environment. 
In addition to running, jumping, and even dancing, the robot can handle carrying a box weighing about 5 kilograms. And that is all. The cost of such a robot is close to a million dollars. I don't think we need to explain that for such a price, we ourselves are ready to move any box as many times as we want. And if such a robot costs a million, let alone the creation and mass production of robots with a brain at least close to a human brain, even today with a high level of technology, we cannot fully explain how our brain works. If we talk about it for a long time, one way or another, we will come up against a philosophical or even spiritual question. Maybe it's because we are more than a body with a set of functions and a system of neural connections that is so difficult for us to understand how our brain works in reality and who we are in an essence. These are questions that guide Hiroshi Ishiguro, the famous Japanese robotic engineer, in his work. Even as a child, as an unusual child, he glued various metal parts to the beetles he made, trying to customize them. Today, he has a whole collection of humanoid robots to his credit. He even created an exact robot replica of his five-year-old daughter, and then of himself. His robots traveled the world, participating in exhibitions and lectures and even starring in movies. But even his creations can't escape the Valley of Evil effect that plagues many who dream of creating the perfect robotic human. The effect of this effect is this. The more plausible and human-like robots become, the more likely their appearance becomes repulsive. The reason is that when a robot looks overtly like a machine, our brain has no problem perceiving it. We treat it just like a toaster or a coffee grinder. But if a robot with a human face reacts, words, and responds with corresponding facial expressions, our brain is completely confused. Subconsciously, we perceive the robot as human, but we still notice tiny and subtle differences that we cannot even describe. The result is that the robot looks absolutely repulsive to us, even though we ourselves do not understand what the reason is. Which once again makes us realize how much imperceptible micro-movements and intonations mean in our communication. The effect is comparable to seeing a zombie. It seems to be human, but something is obviously wrong with it. And it's creepy. Because of this unfortunate effect, some developers are even abandoning the idea of creating a robot that is completely human-like. First, it simplifies the work and allows you to focus on basic functions of the robot. And second, it makes production cheaper. In addition, the robot is much easier to repair and refine than it is not covered with unnecessary tinsel in the form of artificial skin, hair, and teeth, and there is direct and immediate access to the parts. Now, for the most responsible viewers, as promised, we tell you about the most unusual and amusing robots that exist today. A robot that plays rock, paper, scissors, and it beats a human with a 100% score. How is that possible, you ask? The trick is that the robot captures the slightest hand movement with its high-speed vision. You haven't even put your hand out in the right gesture yet, and the robot already knows everything. A robot hair washer. Panasonic created this unusual robot. It automatically scans the contours of your head and determines the amount of shampoo and effort required, while 16 fingers gently massage your head, applying and rinsing the product. The Spot Mini Robot Dog This robot appeared in 2016 thanks to Boston Dynamics. It is capable of scanning the environment with 3D vision system sensors, moving independently, and overcoming obstacles. In the future, this robot is planned to replace watchdogs. But the question is how much all this will cost and how feasible it all is. If dogs, goodness knows, are not extinct and are happy to help humans. Theotronic Pianist Created in Italy, the robot equipped with 19 fingers is not only excellent at playing the piano, but also at singing, accompanying itself with drums, changing facial expressions, and assessing the audience's reaction. If it sees, with the help of built-in cameras, that the audience is bored, it changes its repertoire. Cube Coon Once again, Japanese companies are ahead of the rest of the world. Robotics is already their trademark. And another, Robot Entertainment. CubeCoon can calculate the algorithm and assemble a Rubik's Cube in just a few minutes, but in this, he does not surpass humans in any way. As of today, the world record among humans was set in 2018 and is only 3.47 seconds. Alcoholic Barbot The robot was programmed to beg at the bar where it spends everything on beer. It's funny and sad at the same time. It's very human. 
the Push-Up Kintor Z. The robot was created especially for Japan's Baka Robo Cup competition. Its only function is to do push-ups, and even with his arms falling off, he doesn't stop. First place was assured for him. Swagbot Shepherd Invented in Australia, the prototype robot is able to transport a loaded trailer, drive around obstacles, and most importantly, gather sheep and horses into a flock. Subsequently, the robot will be taught to find the ideal places for grazing, and the creators plan to equip it with sensors to monitor the temperature and gait of animals in thereby monitoring their health. Robot Racer Yamaha has unveiled a prototype robot capable of controlling a 200-horsepowered YZF R1M racing motorcycle. The built-in computer is able to fully control the speed of movement in space. In addition, the system is capable of self-learning and selecting the optimal trajectory of movement. Delivery Robot Last but not least, we left at least one robot that can really make people's lives easier. Year after year, the demand for manufacturing delivery robots grows. Already well-known startups Starship, KiwiBot, and Marble are doing similar developments. These are both conventional robotic boxes on wheels and more original ideas, such as robot delivery dogs from Continental. Are we destined to wake up one day to a world full of android robots? As of today, this topic remains a big question. For this idea to become a reality, we need a quantum leap in the development of technology, which today is not good enough to fully create a human brain, and is insanely expensive to allow us to use it everywhere, like smartphones, for example. It is also very important to understand the workings of our own brains. Or maybe we're not capable of understanding our own nature with our minds.